the foundational mantra of transformational leadership, which is choosing to see the world through the lens of, it's not about me, it's about you. It's not about me, it's about you. You should be able to look every single member of your family in the eye, your spouses, your significant others, your children, and say, it's not about me, it's about you. You should be able to look each other in the eye, your peers, as well as your teams at home, your colleagues and your coworkers, and say, it's not about me, it's about you. And you absolutely, literally and metaphorically, individually and organizationally, need to look every single customer you serve in the eye and say, it's not about me, it's about you. The best way to influence other people and inspire them into a philosophy that I personally call being a high five leader. High five leadership is about the people that you're impacting. See, one thing I know for certain, from a personal influence and impact standpoint, when you learn to shift your focus off of what you want from people and you shift it to what you want for people, you become the most magnetic person in the room immediately. Research shows that the most motivating force on the planet when it comes to challenging situations is a simple high five. By high fiving somebody, you are seeing the person, you are acknowledging the effort, you are celebrating them. That's the trifecta. Here's an exercise called 10 assists. And I wanna encourage every one of you to implement this with yourselves and implement this with every member of your team. Every morning when you wake up, put 10 rubber bands on your left wrist. Every time you give an assist to one of those two groups, either those on your team or those that you serve, you take one rubber band off of your left wrist and you put it on your right wrist. And what is an assist? An assist is anything you do that goes above and beyond what you are expected to do. Every time you add value to someone's life above and beyond what is expected in those two groups, you move one rubber band from the left wrist and you put it on the right wrist. Your workday is not over till all 10 rubber bands are on the right wrist. Till you know for a fact that you personally have done nothing short of 10 tangible things to add extra additional bonus value to the two professional groups that should mean the most to you. You be generous with those high fives and those thank yous. You spread them around, okay? You hand them out for free. I want you to assume that if you appreciate the people that you're working with or the people in your family or the person that you're married to, they don't know it. Look for ways to high five because most of us do about a hundred things right a day, but the only thing anybody ever talks about is the one thing that we do wrong. You wanna see your sales start to skyrocket? You wanna see your relationships start to skyrocket? You wanna see your businesses start to skyrocket? Make that a foundational principle as far, as far as your culture is concerned. Make sure that every single day, you and every member of your team is intentional about adding extra value. Your relationship with yourself is the foundation of every single relationship that you have. You have got to first be able to fulfill your own emotional need to be seen, to be supported, and to be celebrated. The things that make you feel alive, the things that energize you, the things you enjoy doing, the things that make you smile, the things that fill your cup, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, if that's appropriate to you. People want to be treated how they want to be treated. Your job is to figure out the way they want to be treated. That's empathy. Empathy is not the ability to predict how somebody feels. It's taking the time to understand because you're asking how other people want to be treated. And this is where flexibility is really important. You may have a particular style that makes half the people that you're around feel empowered, seen, inspired, and appreciated. But there may be a whole other group of people that you interact with that your style makes them feel micromanaged and second-guessed and not trusted. Develop empathy. Have a genuine interest in how other people are feeling and the impact that you are having them. It's not what you say, it's what they hear that matters. It's not what you say, it's what they hear. What you say is, I need your help. When you micromanage, what they hear is, Alan doesn't trust me, Alan doesn't believe in me, Alan doesn't think I'm good enough. And that type of unconscious message will erode your relationship with that person. It's like pulling the thread out of a sweater. So just know that when it comes to communication, little things make a big difference.